Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. Today is the day where we are leaving. We're leaving again. We're going camping. We are actually going camping. I am finishing packing up the trailer right now. Jamie's cutting the front lawn so that when we get home, the grass doesn't look like a jungle. <laughs> he did this yesterday and he's doing out front today. We are packing up our stuff and we are getting ready to go camping. Apparently Memphis is playing with the apple. I just came out here. We just filled this hole in two days ago. Shelby has dug another giant hole. Hey, one hole at a time, Missy. Hey, hey. Well, you just, you're just going, you're just feisty. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Memphis is going in the cave. You're crazy. Oh, Memphis is going in the cave. She's gonna disappear. Shelby is throwing dirt at Oakley. Really? This is how we're going to start off the day? Really? Can we not get all dirty before we get in the Jeep? Like for once in your life, can we not? Can we not get all dirty before we get in the Jeep? Thanks. Memphis! Hey! <laughs> yeah, it's a deep hole, huh? She's digging another one over here. Alright, we're going to have to fill these in. Wow, this place looks super familiar. Yeah, it does. I feel like this is deja vu. I feel like we've seen this before. By the way, that is Lake Huron, and that is Lake Michigan. <laughs> and this is the fifth weekend in a row that we are crossing the mighty Mackinac Bridge, which is kind of insane. <laughs> So we are all packed up. We've been on the road for about an hour and 45 minutes now. Dogs are all in the back. Hi Memphis. How's it going? She's like, I'm looking out the window guys. I'm looking at the water. And uh, it is, what's the temperature? Hot? Uh, yeah, 75. Not too bad. That's not too bad here. So yeah, we're above water. Apparently we're having, you know, summer again. Today is technically the last day of summer. But when we left the house, it was already 81 at home. And it's supposed to be in the 80s. It's supposed to be 92 at home tomorrow, but it's only supposed to be 80 at the campground. So if you remember the last time we went camping, it was cold. It was cold. Like it got down to frost at night. And it was like the one night it was down to what? Like 37 or something? Do you remember what it was? Uh, yeah. It, yep. was, it was cold. Yeah, it cold. This time, apparently not. I don't know what the deal is, but it's going to be hot. Which, I mean, we're just, we're going to deal with it. It'll be all right. The campsite we got this time is on Muscalounge Lake. So that'll be kind of nice that we actually have a lakeside site. Yeah, it's pretty much on Lake Superior still. Yep, and we can just walk across and go to Lake Superior. And Jamie can go rock hunting. We came up a day early. Greg is actually coming up tomorrow to spend the weekend with us. We're only doing a couple days, but we're heading north. Look at this bridge. Hopefully you're going to see some nice fall colors. Yeah, we're hoping that the colors have peaked up there. I looked at the map and it said they should be. So we're hoping for some fall colors. Look at the lake today though, yeah, guys. Yeah, it's very eerie. It's very eerie. This isn't Lake Erie, but, no, it, it's, but it's eerie yeah. looking. <laughs> Michigan jokes. <laughs> uh, we're heading over the bridge and uh, going to go pay the toll. Make it to the UP. Yeah, it literally looks like you could just go out there and like walk on the water. I mean, not literally, but <laughs> it does. Look at how smooth it is. It's so weird. There's like no waves. There's Mackinac Island. I would still, hopefully, maybe this year, I don't know, like to take a day and take the dogs over there on the boat and walk around the island. Yeah. It might be fun to do in October. Mm -hmm. There's a big piece of the bridge. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go pay the toll and get across the bridge. What are you doing, Shelby? What are you, look at, where's my phone? There's Miss Oakley, hi, good morning. Shelby's like, I'm back here, I'm in my spot. Oakley's in her spot. Oakley likes to sit right here and stuff her nose where the AC blows in her face. You like that, huh? And then Memphis is looking out the window over there. We're going camping, girls. Are you excited? You wanna go camping? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Look at all the dogs slop around the window already. <laughs> Gee, you guys don't look out the windows much, do you? We have arrived. Jamie's hanging up my awesome mason jar lights. And I think we're gonna put the sparkly lights maybe on these trees over here. We actually got a, a lakeside campsite. This is Muska Lounge Lake down here. Have you walked down here yet? Uh, I have not, I can't say. 
It looks kind of swampy. I'm doing it. I'm going for it. All right, guys, we're going for it. We're going for it. Ew, it is kind of squashy. Oh, it's not too bad. I don't think we could launch the kayak from here, but maybe. Are there some kayakers out there? It's kind of foggy, but it's kind of, I bet there's turtles and stuff in here. It's kind of cool to have a lakeside site. Oh, it looks cool from right here. <laughs> Looking back up at you guys. Looks pretty cool. So yeah, we have arrived. I'm not sure what we're doing tonight. I'm assuming we'll probably end up going rock hunting at some point. Mm -hmm. Since it is still daylight. Maybe we can go up H58 to the beach and take the dogs. That way they don't have to go down all the steps. Two of the dogs can make it. That one, I don't know. That's a lot of steps for you, huh? Say, Mama Debbie, a, a lot of steps for me. I don't like lots of steps. <laughs> they just had their lunch and now we're finishing setting up the trailer. So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm down at the cliff at Lake Superior and you can see the water levels down there and there's some sandy beach. But then look at the color difference of the I mean, that's a sheer cliff right there and all the things that have fallen. But if you notice that color difference, it's such a wooden color. There is so much wood in the side of this hill. Like that is literally in the side. Now that could have been something that fallen from the top layers. And there's the top right there. You can see it's, I don't know, but look at that. Look at the line right there. And then the line above right there, you can tell. There's some sort of wood underneath that much dirt and then that much more dirt. Well, I'm gonna take you up to right here in the middle and show you what I found. I thought that was pretty cool. So let's go. I'm walking on the edge ever so gently. It is really, really soft. My hand just sinks right into this. Can you see that? It's all like wood chips. This is crazy. All right, so I'm about halfway up the cliff here, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but that, that looks like, that was milled. Something cut that. You can even see the cut lines. Oops, sorry. You can even see the cut lines from the saw. That's not the actual rings of the, because you can see that's the bark right there, but there's a straight line there, a straight line here, and a straight line here. So that's a, that's like a two by four. That's a really rough cut two by four and it, it just goes in to the side of the hill. So how many years ago, and there's, I think there's another one up there. How many years ago was there a building on this ground? Oh my God, that's like straight above my head. Oh, there's another one up there. See it hanging out, poking out? And then just a different time frame? That's just crazy. How, how? How long ago to make it that far under the ground? That, I'd like somebody to be able to answer that. I don't know, it's at least 30 feet under the ground at the edge of the beach. Crazy, so crazy. All right. So Jamie told me to walk down to the lake and get some video of all the fog, but I wanted to show you guys this sign because this is the rocks that we always come here looking for. And I know he's told you this story before, but if you wanna pause and read it, this tells you how agates are formed which is exactly the story that Jamie tells us. But if you want to read it, you can read it. Them are the rocks we're looking for. And then these are people that have been here that have found some here. That's pretty cool. Are you a happy camping dog? Are you a happy camping dog? How about you? Are you a happy camping dog? We're gonna go take a walk around the campground a few minutes here while the sun is setting. But I think first we're gonna take a peek at the rocks that Jamie got. Do we wanna look at rocks now or when we get back? We can look when we get back. Okay, I'm gonna get the dogs ready for a walk. What do you think? Is that what you, you heard me say it, yeah. Snuggleable? Is that does that word still work while camping? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get these girls ready. All the girls have their cool LED collars on. <laughs> We're gonna take them for a walk around the campground. 
Uh, as always, if you guys want to get one of these LED colors, I'll put my affiliate link down in the video description below. These are their fully customizable ones. <laughs> so they have like their collars a certain color and their, so green. their clips a certain color. Yeah, Memphis is, is very green. But they look pretty cool. And they help us see when we're walking at night. Now you can see they're pretty LED collars. Chubby's like, yeah, check me out, man. <laughs> what if I push this button? Does that make it better? I don't know. Playing with a different setting on my camera to see if the collars show up better. Yeah, it's still dusk, so it's it's not very dark out yet. No, they do look cool though. <laughs> I can see Memphis is glowing <laughs> on the sidewalk. Yeah. Uh. yeah, the green is definitely bright. All right, we'll head back to the campsite. Check it out, our sparkly green forest has returned. <laughs> Memphis is like, um, there's like sparkles on the trees, guys. <laughs> So our campsite has this cool separation of trees right here from everybody else, so we turned ours bright sparkly green. <laughs> so here's some of the rocks that we found. I want to I wanna look at the rest of them again. Yeah. Hey, the radio suddenly started working again. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's some water so you can get them wet. Yeah. Like a, Aren't we just supposed to lick them? Don't we just lick rocks? Right. You look can. at that one. That one's yeah, cool. Yeah, really, super shiny. That's really cool. Hmm. We gotta get the rest of them out. Memphis has her little face smushed right into the wall. Look at her. It's like, I'm so smushed. Wait, you're just like, I'm just tired. Now you guys are making all this noise. And then there's Oakley, half on her bed, half off. <laughs> so there's all the rocks. Okay, so this one just looks like a big giant rock, but I have to, I have to show you. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Come on. Doesn't that look like a slab of meat right there? It really it does. I mean, it's 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 that color red. It doesn't look like it over here, but boom! It's <laughs> it just so looks weird. like a, a tenderloin. I don't know. I thought that was funny. So many rocks. This one's oh super gosh. flat. Look at that. You yep. know, super flat rock. This yeah. rock. Look at this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a red band that goes right through the middle of it. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, it's pretty neat. That's so. Oh jeez, jeez! Don't let us wear you out over and there, actually, puppy. If you look at that red band, you can see the clear or the white inside oh, yeah. of there too. These look so glistening. Now, do you high. think any of them are actually agates? Um, yeah, I think this one's possibly an agate. Okay, so this one here is yeah. possibly an agate. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to focus. So this one here, possibly, but we have to split it open, but you can see like the little hole right there. And then this one as well, you can see the little hole on it. So the banding and everything will be on the inside of these. So those could possibly be agates. So this one is most likely a Lake Superior agate. It's small, has a little bit of banding, but... We're pretty sure this this is one. Yeah, it's it's the material. It yep. just doesn't have a good band on yep. it. Yep. This is pretty much the rock haul for the day, and then apparently that. What my driftwood? Yeah. Yeah, you like that? That's pretty cool. Yep. I don't know. I like driftwood too. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool too. Uh, we come up here to collect things and bring them home. Uh. Less than twenty-five pounds. Less than 25 pounds. Yep, you can only pick 25 pounds of rock off the beach per person. So we could bring 50 pounds. <laughs> but that's for the whole year. Yeah. You're yeah, only allowed right. 25 pounds of rock for the year. Rock. I said rock. This is, this is I said half. rock. Are we having this problem again with you and the camper? All I said was rock. 25 pounds of rock. You are listening to me say that. And that doesn't sound like anything. Does that look like meat, Shelby? Somebody said that it was the inflection in my voice that made her when she responded to snuggleable. But oh, I don't know, she just weird. responded to me saying rock. Right. <laughs> that rock was so weird, it was like... Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> cool. Tomorrow we're doing waterfalls, but I'm sure there'll be time for more rocks. Yeah, I heard that was chert. Chert! But it's weird that it's got the... Uh, that's definitely chalk. chert, but yeah. So yeah just, oh yeah, that's definitely chalk. Whatever yep. chalk is made out of chalk stone. I have no idea. <laughs> Making things up here. Pretty cool. 
All right, end of camping day one. The girls are already tired. It's very humid. I think it's only like 66 outside, but it's humid and it's supposed to be a humid weekend, but I think we'll do all right. We got the fan going, so I think we're good. But we're calling it a night. I can see your hat in the shadow. <laughs> uh, we're calling it a night, you guys. If you're new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. Oh, and for those of you that asked last time we went camping where Jamie and I sleep, um, we sleep here. We just like sleep around the dogs. <laughs> Thanks for liking and subscribing to Snow Dogs Vlog.